Hey, I'm Corey and I play young King George. Hello, I'm India and I play young Queen Charlotte. Hi, I'm Arsema and I play young Lady Danbury. We're from, from Queen, Queen Charlotte, Charlotte, a Bridgerton, Bridgerton. story. <laughs> But you, I always had like the need to do something when somebody enters a room. So now, like when somebody comes to the table, I'm like, I stand. Not like a full-on curtsy. When people, I'm like, a part of me is like, something has to be done yeah, to yeah. initiate the contact. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I need to come to rooms more often with you. I have absolutely no intention of helping you. I'm a lady in distress. You refuse to help a lady in distress. I refuse when that lady in distress is trying to go over a wall so that she does not have to marry me. That moment in episode one where it's like, hey, if you, if you need me, then I'll call. Is that just a general thing of like, we're together in this society that doesn't respect us as we should be? Or is it, you know that there's something wrong about me? No, no. I think it's like, you are now entering into a space where you yeah. don't recognize how this probably all works. Yeah. You probably thought of George as like, she thinks of every aristocratic white boy, which is like no pity or empathy whatsoever. I found it really emotional because it's the only point that I can watch the show, otherwise I'm going, oh, why did I make that choice or I could have done that better. I think it's really rare to work on a show where you can then see how your older self or the, the character you're portraying ends up. And it's a very kind of special moment mm. uh, to watch Golda and James do the scene as well and we'd worked on the scene ourselves between each other and mm. their intentions and their way of going about the scene was so different to ours. Mm. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just just a very just had a very different air to it and I think, you know, it's they're in different places in, in their life. It was really special to watch. We were filming the Danbury Ball in Bath. And it was really beautiful, but I think our director wanted something a bit different. And if I ain't got you started playing, for me, like I grew up listening to Alicia Keys and that's like a really sentimental album for me. So I was able to connect to it straight away. Mm -hmm. Corey also is moved and is a very musical man. And then the more I listened to it, it was almost like written perfectly for that scene and everything it meant. And then having dinner with Tom and he was like, got the song. I was like, yes, and then he was like, but did you know it's like the 20 year anniversary? And they're gonna do like a big thing about it and it's gonna be great. We heard it, all three of us on the bus in DC. Yeah. And we were like, oh, just like full body chills. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a very, very special song. Great experiment is in danger. My God, you did consummate. You do know what I mean when I say consummate. Perform the marital act. Does it have something to do with this great experiment? I want to see more of the other characters that are in Bridgerton start to like make their way. It'd be cool to see Danbury's and like the Hastings. I want to know where that friendship comes from. I think maybe just like a rebrand of the name. I think Queen Charlotte's a bit, oh, just off the top of my head, something like Cool Cool George. Or, cool you know, Cool sort of like, George. Uh, really nice Georgie. Uh, really nice Georgie. Yeah, something just rolls off the tongue. How about you guys? I'm going to leave it at that. Okay. <laughs>